The Western Michigan Broncos have been playing football since 1906 and never, I say never, have the Broncos started a season with nine straight victories. WMU looking to make a little history tonight down there in Muncie, Indiana. 17th ranked Western with a Tuesday night matchup against 4-4 four and four Ball State. Or as they call Tuesday night games in the Mid-American Conference, Maction. We love Maction. First quarter action. How about some defense? Darius Phillips, sticky fingers with the INT. And Darius Phillips, as you may have heard, is a dangerous man in space. His third interception return touchdown of the season. 75-yard touchdown just like that. Good guys up 7-0. Jarvion Franklin, as usual, getting his. The junior virtually untouched into the paint from 23 yards out. 14-7 Western. We're just getting started. Still first quarter. Zach Terrell going to chuck one up uh, to a wide, wide open Corey Davis. The senior, 57-yard touchdown, 21-7 Western, and Davis was just getting started. Late second quarter, yet another highlight reel grab for the future first-round NFL draft pick. 35-yard touchdown, Davis then opening the second half with a 62-yard touchdown. His third of the night, Davis 12 catches, a school record 272 yards. Western leads this one 52-13 now, yeah, late in the fourth quarter down there in Muncie. My man Brian Kaufman joining us from Muncie with more on tonight's game. Brian, all sorts of good news tonight. The inaugural college football playoff poll released earlier this evening and Corey Davis setting yet another school record. Not a bad night, huh, down there in Muncie? Uh, not, not a bad night at all. Actually, you might call it historic. You mentioned it. He set a new school record, breaking Jordan White's old record of 265 yards that was set back in 2011. Corey. 272 yards on 12 grabs tonight. It's really unbelievable. You mentioned the three touchdowns. That third touchdown that he scored tied him for the all-time lead in MAC history. So Corey Davis definitely going down as one of the best receivers in the history of college football. He also became the second leading all-time receiver in terms of yardage in FBS history tonight. So unreal. But you mentioned the college football playoff rankings and the Broncos 23rd, and it's good. You. It's amazing that the Broncos are in the rankings at all, but being 17th in the AP poll, maybe that's a little lower than they thought they were going to be, but it could have been good because, as you mentioned, you saw the score. They came out like a team with something to prove tonight. Looking at the scoreboard, we're down to a minute and 40 seconds left in the game. Western up big, and they are going to be 9-0 for the first time in the history of the program. Reporting live from Schumann Stadium at Ball State University, I'm Brian Kaufman, News Channel 3. Well, the Broncos